guys, it's April. Since I was very young, I have always watched all of the sci-fi. From Star Wars to Star Trek to Stargate, even the Twilight Zone and the Outer Limits. I am the sci-fi nerd. So today, I'm going to give you a slightly longish list of sci-fi books that I just enjoyed so very much and I think that maybe you should check them out too if you're looking for a sci-fi read. This is inspired by the monthly recommendations group on Goodreads so I will link them down below in case you want to check them out or if you want to find more sci-fi reads because we're all putting up sci-fi lists right now and that would be really great if you're looking for sci-fi because then you're never going to be able to make up your mind. That's a good place to be. The first one I want to bring up is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This makes sense to talk to about with a group of book people because Fahrenheit 451 is about a future in which books are outlawed. They're seen as a tool of dissent among the people. All they cause is discontentment so they have been banned. Firefighters no longer fight fires because everything is flame retardant. Instead, they put fire to books when they find them. This is a story about one such firefighter who decides not to burn a book and so starts his journey into discovering what books are all about, whether or not the status quo of the society he is living in is something he wants to continue to deal with. And I really, 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 really like it. The next book is a Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I have brought this one up several times because this is one of those books that just caused me to stop and think. This is about a future society where everyone is grown in test tubes and treated in a certain way so that we become a certain kind of person who does a certain kind of job. When a outside person comes into the society and just disrupts everything. One such beta decides that he maybe doesn't like the way things are run. If you cannot tell, both of these classic sci-fi books set around a utopic, maybe dystopic world as one of the members of society starts to discover maybe there's more out there than what I assumed. Then of course there is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I can't do this list without including this book because it is absolutely hilarious. His humor is on point. I love it. The Hitchhiker's Guide series is about a young human man, Arthur, who lives past the destruction of the earth. And what happens after that? He learns how to hitchhike across the galaxy. It is glorious and I love it. Mostly I love the first part of the series before it gets really weird, but I recommend that you read it. And if you're gonna be weird and not read the book, I'm okay with you watching the movie, but I'm telling you, you need to read the book. You really do. Just saying. There, of course, is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is one of those books I sat down and I read in one sitting. This is the story of, once again, the destruction of a place. And then the people fleeing in spaceships and trying to survive and outrun the people who are trying to destroy them. Well, everything goes simultaneously wrong. <clears throat> yeah, it's one of those books that you just like, why, 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 why? But what's great about this book is that it's not the classic book. It's got different kinds of formatting and different this 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 is a random bookmark. Sorry about that guys. This is just random, you know, you get dialogues, you get emails, you get pictures. It's just a great multifaceted read and I'm excited about the next one that is coming out fairly shortly. I'm going to get my hands on that one. There is also the book that started it all for me on booktube and that is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This is about virtual reality and 80s references. I absolutely love it. I am intrigued by virtual reality and all that entails. I also really love the 80s. This book, it combines all the 80s references and the 80s games into this virtual reality world and it is glorious. I absolutely love it. If you only read one of Ernest Klein's books, read this one because Steven Spielberg is making the movie. Done. I'm sorry, books. Along those same veins is Solar Versia by Toby Downton. This is also a virtual reality game book. Sounds kind of weird, but yes, it's a virtual reality game book. It is actually about a game that lasts a full 
year and it is amazing this is a book I was never expecting to like really grab me but it did this is actually something that the author wants to have exist into the world and I think that is absolutely amazing if this kind of virtual reality system were to come about I'm on board because I am horrible 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 with joystick and controller games it's it's not pretty it's it's really not which is probably why I am so stinking good at Pokemon Go I'm not but I just like to believe I am of course I can't not mention the Across the Universe series by Beth Reeves this was a beautiful series that deals with this ship that is trying to get to a far off distant planet. In the meantime, there are people who are cryogenically frozen so that when they get to this planet, we can figure things out. But at the same time, there are people who are manning the ship so that the ship can actually get there. This is the story about one such cryogenically frozen girl who is woken up early and how she deals with the fact that she's gonna age past her parents and she has to deal with the society she doesn't understand that is on this ship. It is very intriguing and makes you think what happens to people who are confined together for long periods of time. I'm starting to realize that human beings are not meant to be confined together for long periods of time. It never ends well. Oh my gosh! The Martian by Andy Weir. I, I just, this book, this book, this book, this book and potatoes. <laughs> this book showed me an appreciation for potatoes and the growing cycle and everything else. This is of course about a astronaut who is stranded on Mars. He gets left behind and he has to learn to survive until they can come rescue him. It is the epic journey of him figuring out what can I do with the crap I've got? Literally. The crap he's got. The humor that is still in this book as survival is a struggle and figuring out science and things like that is absolutely amazing. Once again, if you don't want to read the book, fine, watch the movie, but the book. You get so much more of the humor in this book. I understand some people struggle a little bit with how much science there is. That's part of the reason why I loved it. And yeah this book. The Circle by Dave Eggers. This is a story about what could be if we become very social media driven as a society. If things just keep going and going and we submerse ourselves in social media 24-7. Our lives are no longer a secret and everyone knows everything. All of the stuff. Yeah. This is also being made into a movie. Emma Watson is going to be a part of it, and I'm kind of excited. This book made me slightly paranoid about social media after I finished it, but I think it is a good read for anyone who spends vast amount of time on the internet, just so you start thinking about all the stuff that you put out and what it all means and where it could all lead. It's not necessarily a prophetic description of the future, but but it is something that could be. So there's that. Finally, this list would not be complete if I didn't pull out this book by Hugh Howey. The whole wool series by Hugh Howey. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. This is the story of the human race after they have gone underground because something has just torn apart the surface of the earth. They're living in a silo and there's people and things and confined spaces. Once again, confined spaces, bad thing, is how humans survive in that kind of situation. One of the punishments for crimes that happen is to go out and to clean the sensors on the surface. No one ever survives. And this book starts with one such cleaning. It is absolutely amazing. I read that first little part because this book was originally released in parts that you could pick up in the first part. Right now I still believe it's free. I was hooked like you could not believe and then I just tore through this book and the next book and the next book. I always recommend it when someone's asking about a sci-fi read. It is so good. I ended up getting the rest of my people addicted to this book as well. So 
my life's complete. You're welcome. So those are some sci-fi reads that I highly recommend that you pick up because I found them intriguing and amazing in different kinds of ways. If you have any sci-fi reads that you think I should pick up, I'm always open to you guys just recommending things. I love recommendations. And if you have any questions over any of these books, let me know down below. And I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.